I'm going to make a bird feeder. I've got a um, board with holes drilled in it. Um, I've put willows, uh, willows in each hole and I'm going to weave now with the willow. So I take two pieces of willow and these are, this is green willow which has got the bark on, it's still sort of live and a bit fresh and um, the two tips which are the thin ends I'm just going to put round one of the uprights, uh, one going one going backwards and one going forwards so they just cross like that and then I'm going to give it a little twist just to hold it together. Um, we'll just slide that down to the bottom and then I just twist it. So this is a weave called pairing, fitching, which is an opposite twist from pairing. So the left hand one comes underneath the right hand one and goes behind the upright. And as I'm doing that, I'm just rotating the board round so that it's easier to manage. And I'm weaving from the fine ends, from the thin ends. And this just goes round. Once it comes round to the beginning again, I just keep that maintaining the same diameter of circle just for a few more strokes. And then as I weave up um, the rest of the thicker rod, I'm just going to take that weave up as a spiral. And to make that come in as a cone shape, I'm just pulling the uprights closer together so that they um, so that they become so that it, they become uh, more shaped. When it gets a little bit stiff. Um, I'm going to just cut this, cut this off a bit short, add two more pieces in, uh, tips, and the join goes with the thick end going into the back, it's just trapping the old end, which is there, coming behind, push that together. And then I put my new one in there, poking to the back, pushing, trapping the old end, which is coming at the front. And then, and then I continue with the thin ends, taking that spiral further up. As they come in, it, it makes the work quite tight and a little bit difficult to get your hands in to the back. You have to just try and work out, work to as far as you can. I always like to finish on tips because it um, it makes it conclude in a. a a more smooth way and then I'm going to tie that together at the top there
where, where the spiral finishes. So to tie it, I take a the butt end is going to come in between the upright sort of half and half on each side. And then I twist this once below and then a few times above. And then I tuck the thin end from top to bottom. To get the get the tip and then pull it through. So it's tied. Then I can take it out of the board, use it out of the board, and it looks like that. So what I'm going to do now is I level that off, that the start of it, so that it's that's flat, and then I'm going to plait these sticks down so it makes an edge so to do that just some of them might just need pulling pulling up so that they're a bit longer i need to have enough length for them to go into this little border this is the simplest border that you can do in willow in basketry and um, i often teach students how to do this if they want to just um, have a border that they can just remember if um, if they're at home they may have forgotten how to do the more complicated border so this one has like a little mantra that is behind in front behind and that and um, if you just keep remembering that that helps so what I'm going to do is to kink three of these to start with just bending kinking is just bending um, they're all they're all bent at the same level and then I take the one on the left and it comes behind in front and behind lays into the back the next one on the left goes behind in front behind lays into the back this one's just bent on the top behind in front behind behind in front Behind, behind, in front, behind, behind, in front, behind, behind, in front, behind. I'm pulling them through because they're not quite long enough. I need to pull that through a little bit. Behind, in front, behind. Behind, in front, behind. Behind. When you get to the end of the when you get back to the beginning, I'm just uh, rearranging it so it's a little bit more level behind. And that end threads through to the back. And this last one just needs pulling up, threading through, and then threading through to the back. So a nice border um, sometimes you could just cut if there's too many if there's too many ends poking if the ends are poking out too much in the inside you can just trim those off and trim the ends off on the outside as well 
this end need trimming off. Just tighten that a little bit. Trim those ends off. And an end there. And an end there. And then I'm going to do um, I'm going to do a handle so that we can hang it up. So that's done by take a new take a new piece of willow, and what I need to do is to twist it. Uh, you can hear it when it cracks; so it makes a sort of crack sound, and then it makes a kind of twist that shows like that. And I'm going to put that through the side of the bird feeder and then with the thick end I'm going to just gently curve the thick end over so it pokes into the side down the side of the weaving push it through there I'm going to cut this going to cut this to a point it helps so cut the thick end to the point come back through like that and that can push through the side and thread through there it should make a nice loop and then we take this thin Thing in. Just wrap it a few times. This is as, as if you're going to make a just like a twisted handle. It's just a very simple handle. It doesn't need it doesn't really need more than one row because it's just for hanging the hanging the whole piece up. So all I do with the tip is I thread it through the weaving um, a few times just to secure it so it just goes in and out of the weaving just until it's woven away if it's a very long piece you could take it back wrap wrap it a few times over the the handle again and that's it um this is just about finished i'll just cut that off if you do this at, if you're going to do this at home just you could take a little bit more time and make it a little bit more attractive. But this is perfectly perfectly usable for um, for putting fat balls in. So there we go. A very basic fat ball holder for feeding the birds. <laughs>